Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. We're back up here at the uh, Fairway old, old Retreat Cemetery. And we're gonna get right back at it where we left off. All right. First one here is gonna be a, uh, uh, something Bailey. I think they died in 18, 68 maybe or something like that I'm not sure what that says but that's the first one and we have this one we can't read much on it except it looks like it says something about 1810 November the 21st I want to say right there on that one then we have we have William. He's a veteran. W. I mean William H. Dowles, 1803 to 1873. He's a Civil War veteran. Alrighty. All right, thing. Quit flopping around on me. Don't be going crazy on me today. Then we have in the memory of. I'm not sure on the name. Anyways, they died. In 18 and 43 on this one right here if I can get it in focus right there 1843 then we have this one here I can't tell much about it but there it is right there then we have Mary Robinson on this one and Mary Robinson died March the 6th 1886 at the age of 62 years and it looks like maybe a day 11 days then we have Haiti Hattie, or Haiti on this one that's about all I can tell died in 1870 something then we have another veteran here and I'm not sure on the name but there it is guys on that one then we have John uh, Johnson on this one and he looks like he died in 1873 June or something on that stone right there all right then we have Ann on this one and Ann died in 1870, something the 22nd, I'm not sure. There it is. All right. Then we have, we have Marion, the wife of F.A. Horton, July the 14th, 1849 to June the 12th, 1883. On that stone right there then we have Frank a Horton on this one right here and it says he died October the 20th well no he was born October 22nd 1845 and he died December the 6th 1918 and here's their main stone right here the Horton stone provided I can get it in here still trying to learn to drive this thing guys be patient with me then we have little Nelly here Nelly 1882 to 1930 on that one then we have get this thing to spin around I don't know why it's going crazy on me today because it ain't no wind or much or nothing out here then we have Crawford right here. And we got Crawford here. We got mother and father. You can't see that one because of the grass. You can see both father a little bit down here. He died uh, September the 28th, 1821. It's the only thing I had. No, that's when he was born. That's the only date I got, guys. Sorry about that. 
ain't no death date. Then we have, uh, and we're gonna move on. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move on. It's gonna get hot in this field out here. Sun's already beating down already today. Then we got G. Instead of Lee, we got G. I've never heard the last name G. Anyways, Med, Meta, the wife of M A G, March the 7th, 1865 to July the 18th, 1903. All right. Then we have, right here we have, we have a Civil War veteran. I can't read the name, but there it is. And beside him is another one. There he is. Civil War veteran. All right. Then right beside them is another Civil War veteran. Right here. And you can't read any of them, but there they are. All right. And here's our next one. I can get this thing to cooperate. Right there. I can't see who it is. There it is. All right. This thing started out first day working good, and then all of a sudden it's just crazy and everything. I'm going to have to send it back if it keeps acting up. This is Sarah Jane Funk, born October the 31st, 1868, and died January the 18th. 1851. Then we have March to the Beat of a Different Drum, Charles Me Funk, M Funk, M Funk, January the 2nd, 1961 to January the 11th, 1978. He's always with us. Then we have Chaz F Funk. 1878 to 1963. We have Alice E. Young Funk, 1888 to 1978. She's the daughter of Laura Anway in Ellsworth, Kershire. Okay, then we got Arthur C. Young, 1880 to 1923. All right, then we have, I have no earthly idea on that one, but there it is. All right, and we'll get this thing to try to straighten up here and quit going crazy. This thing where either works good or it don't work with a crap. It's got a two modes, evidently. All right, we got an interesting stone coming up. I ain't heard nothing about it. But I don't know everything and don't claim to. But I'll show you in just a few. Anyways, this is Daniel Bollinger, 1852 to 1928. This is Laura, Laura Clay Bollinger, 1857 to 1915. This next stone coming up is very interesting. And I'm sure I have a couple that will look this up. They know who they are. But I'd like to hear a little more about this one. If you'd be so kind as to find out about it and let me know. It's dedicated to the victims of the B&O train wreck of January the 4th, 1887. And there's a stone there. That is pretty awesome. All right, guys. Let's move on. And we have supposed to have got to that black stone, so we're this way. All right, here's going to be our next one. It's going to be strong. It's going to be Ira M. Strong, born uh, April the 22nd, 1814, and died January the 7th, 1887. Ira did. Then he got Lydia, his wife, born July the 24th, 1824, and died January the 20th, 1825. On that stone right there. Next, we got a metal one right here. And it says right here, our father is at rest. Right there, if you read it. All right, then over here, we have, it's going to be Henry H. Lapham. He died June 10th, 1889, at the age of 71 years and six days. 
And then let's see if anybody else is on there. Then it says our mother is at rest. And we get to be so kind as get this thing turned around. Right there's mother, Mary M. Lapham. Born May the 1st, 1821, and died May the 25th, 1916. She was 95 years and 24 days on that stone right there, guys. All right. That's mother. Then we have Isaac Sutton on this stone right here, 1849 to 19, and Ruth, his wife, 1843 to 1923. Then we have a child or an infant on this one right here. Right here. Right there. All right. Then we have, I have no earthly idea on this one, but there it is. There, okay, and our next one is right here. And they died in 1857, April the 19th, what I want to say, at 26 years and maybe 19 days on that stone right there. All right. Then we have this one. And they died August the 9th, 1880, but I can't see who or anything about it. But there it is. All right. Then we have Elizabeth on this side, right here. And she's something to Joseph, right here. I don't know exactly what, but there it is. All right. Then we have Hannah Orner, Orner, 1842 to 1901. Then we have John Orner. He's 1843 to 1925. Then we have Mary Ann. She's the wife of John Orner and died November the 22nd, 1866. She was 21 years, it looks like one month and 26 days on that stone right there. Then we have, I have no earthly idea on that one. I'm not moving my car, you can go around. I'm not stopping what I'm doing to move when there's another road. Here's Catherine E. Schatz Zingler, February the 23rd, 1907 to September the 18th, 1970. Then we have Ira N. Smith, July the 23rd, 1880 to June the 18th, 1947. Then we have Marie, the wife of John Whitler, 1855 to 1935. Then we have a veteran right here, guys. Right here's a veteran, but I don't know the name, Civil War. All right, then we have Mooser Man, Mooser Man or something like that. Him and his wife, 1851 to 1934, and William, he's a Civil War veteran, 1846 to 1935 on that stone right there, guys. Then we have another William, 1886 to 1967. We have Mimi, 1882 to 1975. And then we have Ray, 1910 to 1936. All right. Then we have West Webster House on this one, and that's going to be John Webster House, 1828 to 1891. It's going to be Henry, 1861 to 1863, and it's going to be Frank, 1855 to 1886. Then we have it's going to be Catherine, his wife, 1823 to 1905. Now go to that stone right there, guys. Right there. And I do apologize about the trains. Well, they have only had enough sense to move their car. 
and go around. You can either do that or sit there. Especially when there's other roads and you just pull in behind me. That's the dumbest thing I ever seen. All right. Then we have Marie L. Distille, 1890 to 1946. Then we have Ann Parker, December the, that says 39th, but I know there's not no 39th. Uh, we're going to say the 29th, uh, 1846, April the 18th, 1832. Looks good to me. All right. Then we have... This one's a veteran, but I can't tell who. I don't know, can't see the name, but there it is. All right. This thing's going wild today. I bet it won't work too long. Then we have an imp in here. An imp in here. Then we have this one. I can't really tell nothing about it, but there it is. Dude, I don't know how you're mowing grass when there ain't nothing to mow. It's already been mowed. Then you got Mary on this one. I can see Mary. Looks like she died in 1882 on this one. I think. Or is that... No, it's 72. Right here. 72 or 22. Give it a judge. Alright, then we have this. Right here it says... Louisa M. An Anway. Let me get it down there. Anway. All right. Then we have Morgan H. Anway on this one. Right there. Then we have Pamela P. Jane Anway. And we have, I believe they all go to this one stone. That is right here. And it's got to be Elizabeth. She's the wife of W. M. Anway. And she died July the 31st, 1881. She was 72 years, six months, and four days. On this big old stone right here, guys. Then let's see if he's back on the other side. This thing keeps rolling. I don't know why it keeps rolling so much. I'm wanting to spin around too much. Then you got William Anway. Looks like he died June the 9th, 19 and... No, 18 and 63. I'm sorry about that. At 60 years, 4 months, and 27 days on that stone right there. All right. Then we have... We have William H. Anway, 1835 to 1916. Then we have Lasilia or something like that, T. Anway, 1837 to 1913. Then I'm going to say, assume this is a child or an infant. I do not know. But anyways, this is Nelly Anway. And she's the wife of Antoni, Antoni Strictly. And she died November the 20th, 1885, at 24 years, 11 months, and 10 days. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. He would go to Mother Grass and choke me to death while I'm here. Then we got Ellsworth. 1864 to 1940, and Laura Anway, 1865 to 1930, on that stone right there. Then we got another child or an infant right here. All right. Then we have Mary C. Sparks, 1839 to 1894. We have a. a Jane on this one and that's all I can tell is that's Jane then we have mother on this stone right here and it's 1802 to 1868 it is I think it says doctor doctor somebody on this side but I can't see who because the sun's blinding me there it is and then over here, we have Father, I think it says, 1902 to 1969 
or 59, 69, I believe. And that's all that's on it's down. All right. Hi, hi. Since you got me in the camera. Then we have Florida Bogart, 1863 to 1928. We have William, 1856 to 1927. Here's their main stone, right there. All right. And then we have Mary, 1823 to 1893. And then we have William, 1822 to 1906. And then we have Jenny, 1863 to 1960, I mean 1864. On oh, that stone right there. All right, now here we go doing upside down flips. All right, guys, here we go. Then we have John Stroh, May the 10th, 1865. He was 71 years, six months, and 16 days on this stone right here. Then we have right here, I can't tell nothing, but they died in 1861. That's all I can see. Now this is a neat stone. It's Oli. And I can't tell nothing else about Oli, but that's Oli. Alright. Then we have this one here. It's Toot M. The wife of Ira o o Ogden or something like that. Died January the 11th, 1887 at 32 years, 11 months, and 8 days. And I believe that's the only one that's on there. So that's the only thing I see. All right, let's go on around to this one. It's gonna be our next one. And these, I can't never see these. But there it is. I'll show it to the ends. I believe it's gonna be Alice right here. 1857 to 1885. And it's gonna be what, Estrus? 1849 to 1921. It's going to be Carlene, 1831 to 1906. And it's going to be Thomas, 1821 to 1906. All right, that takes care of those. Then we have this one died. It's a, I'm not sure of the name. Ro yeah, I am. Roswell Jones. Died June the 24th, 1847. Then we got Abigail. Died uh, uh, maybe August the 9th, 1853 on that one. Best I can tell. And then we have uh, W. something Jones. And they died in... I have no earthly idea on this one. But there it is. Alright. Then we have... Estrus Jones died October 21st, 1869. Right here. Maybe 71 years, one month and 11 days, I'm not sure. Then we have Grace. She's the wife of him. She died April the 4th, 1853. 53 years, 11 months and 10 days. Then we have... Stop spinning around, you stupid thing. We have Hannah... That's the daughter of him, and she died May the 24th, 1847, at the age of five years, one month, and 15 days. The whole time I'm standing here, the whole the thing's going to turn and starting to turn around its own. I'm not even turning it. I don't know why it's got so much play in it. It's not supposed to be doing all that. It's supposed to stop the shaking and the moving around, not add to it. All right, here's our next one. It's going to be William H. Bishop. He died April the 8th, 1888, at 71 years, 5 months, and 29 days. Then we have William H. Bishop. Died uh, July the 5th, 1889, at 76 years and 21 days. And I think that's all that's on that stone. It is, on that metal stone right there, guys. Now, sorry about the trains, guys. It's time of morning they run through. 
All right. Oh, this thing's driving me nuts with all this moving around. There's another one we're not going to be able to tell anything about. If I can even find it. For this crazy thing. There it is. Then we have, I don't know exactly who down here, but they died in 1925, best I can tell. Can't tell for the grass. Then you have William T. Myers, 1845 to 1902. All right. Then we have Western House again. We have the LS Western House. 1852 to 1912, and Elza gave his wife 1860 to 1889 on that stone right there. Then we have, I'm fixing to have a flying gimbal because this thing's driving me crazy already. We have Mary A. Shook, 1865 to 1921. Then we have Hobbley, or Hopley. We have Ethel, 1893 to 1960, and Russell, 1891 to 1963. Then we have, what, Orner, William, 1866 to 1914, and Leah, 1871 to 1944. All right. Our next one's gonna be Armstrong, right here. And I don't know what that's about. I've never seen one anything like that. And right there, well, shoot, you stupid piece of junk. Right there. Then we have, he's a veteran. Right here, it's John Armstrong, right here. All right. Then we have Maria Armstrong, right here. 1845 to 1925 on this one. And then there's one right there, and you can't read it, but there it is. All right. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm going to try something real quick.